after careful reflection, I have concluded that the very high threshold required for the invocation of the act was met. Justice Rouleau was a liberal, but he ain't Trudeau's uncle. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist with the Toronto Sun. Now, is it fair to call Justice Paul Rouleau, who just wrapped the Emergencies Act inquiry, a liberal? An honest answer would be both yes and no. But calling him Justin Trudeau's uncle or uncle-in-law based off nothing but internet speculation? That's completely wrong. These are the allegations, though, that Rouleau has faced in the lead-up to his report being released and in the days since. These claims that Rulo is so close to Trudeau that he could never write a proper report against his nephew, no less. They arrive in emails, direct messages, people saying if you were a real journalist, you'd look into these things. Well, when Rulo was appointed last April, I did look into his past and I found liberal ties, wrote about them at the time. The claims, though, that Rulo's brother was married to Suzette Trudeau, the older sister of Pierre Trudeau, that's not based in any cursory glance of the facts. Suzette Trudeau was born in 1918. She passed away at the age of 89 in 2008 after her husband, Pierre Rouleau, had long passed. I looked at the age difference, realized there's no way that Justice Paul Rouleau and Pierre Rouleau were brothers. Left it at that. CTV's Glenn McGregor, though, he did a deep dive. He looked at the lineage of the two Rouleau families. It's clear they're not related in any way to the current prime minister. Andy Lee, podcaster, supporter of the convoy, she's debunked this. Andrew Lawton from True North, he's been wholly sympathetic to the convoy. He's done the same. But in this era of alternative facts, that won't convince some people. Now, as for Rulo's party ties to the Liberals, well, in the 80s, he was a young staffer helping John Turner win the Liberal leadership when Pierre Trudeau resigned. He helped Turner pick his cabinet once he became prime minister. And if you look at media reports from that era, Rouleau was described either as Turner's executive assistant or appointment secretary. Those, despite the sound of the job titles, very important. So yes, Justice Rouleau has long and deep liberal ties. He was appointed to the bench by Jean Chrétien, then promoted by both Paul Martin, a liberal, Stephen Harper, a conservative. While he donated to the Liberal Party in the past, before he was a judge, he's not the man who donated recently. That's another guy named Paul Rouleau, who I spoke to last year. So no relation to the judge, never even met him. Now, when I reported on Rouleau's liberal ties last April, I, I gave this warning ahead of the commission. I said he had to resist the temptation to look the other way for his old political friends. During the hearings, I felt he did that. For the most part in the hearings, he was fair and impartial. His report, though, found the government met the threshold for invoking the act, and he arrived at that conclusion reluctantly, said the evidence wasn't overwhelming. But he did it by accepting many of the arguments that I and many others, including lawyers, rejected from the government as not being grounded in legislation. So while I think Rouleau was fair during the hearings, I think he arrived at the wrong conclusion. Is that due to party affiliation? Is it due to a, a world and legal viewpoint maybe rooted in his liberal past? Perhaps. We can't say that for sure, though. What we can say for sure, though, is that Justin Trudeau could have avoided having these questions linger after the report by appointing someone whose independence couldn't be questioned. Doing that, though, may have put his passing grade in the final report at risk. What do you think? What do you think of the the final report, Justice Rulo's conclusions, what should happen next? Drop us a comment down below, share this on social media, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.